There's so many TV shows I'd like to see again. But because of the... Uh, you know, I've learnt my lesson from uh, watching Blake 7 reruns. It was just rubbish. It wasn't, it wasn't half as good as I thought it was. But special effects have got better. So you They didn't have any more. special effects. They had, like... Uh, Every time they shot, they, instead of having a laser coming out of the gun, it was just like a piece of string that they pulled really, really quickly on a wire. <laughs> it's like Doctor Who. I remember Doctor Who being really scary. The Cybermen just look like they're drunks in these stupid suits. It's ridiculous. It's Bob the lighting engineer. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. So uh, we'll play True or False next. We have all our contestants standing by, I do believe. Hopefully. Okay, Fingers good. Crossed. Well, here we go again. So, a six to start on our brand new phone system. Put 50 pence in the side and hopefully it should work after this. Come back to what you know. Come back and let me see Embrace and come back to what you know. Embrace are a brilliant band and their album is absolutely superb. Uh, do you remember when Pele was in the World Cup? Yeah. I'm just going to do it. It's a very similar thing. No, no. Babe Ruth. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. But you know what I mean. Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. It's a Nothing. secret between Ben and I. That's all right. Yeah. Let's play true or false. <coughs> you have a cough. Sorry. Line one, hello. Come on! Come on! I win that one. What's your name? Uh, Jason. Where are you calling from, Jason? Um, are you Jason from Jason the Argonauts? No, I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry, where are you calling from then? I'm in central London. Central London? Yes. Whereabouts? Uh, down off Oxford Street. Uh, where are you from? I'm from America. <laughs> you ain't going to win then. So, um, oh, who I would... Heard that. I'm joking. Who, who would you like your true or false question from? Me, Ben or Dave? Uh, you, Fiane. Ben, OK, here we go. True or false, fish weigh themselves using their scales. True. <laughs> no, it's not. It's false. Don't be daft. Oh, yeah. darn it. Everyone knows that. Sorry about that. Oh. Bye-bye. Fair enough. Then. Line two, <laughs> hello. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Where are you? Miles. I come from Litchfield. Your name's what? Miles. Miles? Miles. M-I-L-E-S, yeah. Right. Miles, then. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> so, if, if you were my brother, you'd be Miles Miles. Miles Miles, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, who would you like a true or false question from? Uh, you. Comedy Dave. Okay, here we go. True or false? When snails travel on aeroplanes, the crew insists that they stay in the escargot hold. Uh, true. It is true. Hey, uh, number two. True or false, there is no such thing as fake Australian artwork because all of their paintings are aboriginals. Um, false. <laughs> it is false. Hey, There's hey. one to win. Here we go. Before becoming a professional footballer, Paul Scholes used to make sandal-style shoes for ladies in the 1970s. Oh, uh, I reckon true. It's false. He wasn't even born. Oh. oh. Bye. Bye-bye. Line three, hello. Come on! Oh, come on yourself! What's your name? Mike from Anglesey. Mike from Anglesey. Who would you like to chill for question from, Mike? From the man. From the man? Kevin Green is not here. <laughs> you the man. Oh, I'm the man. Who's the lady? I ain't no lady. Dave's the lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true or false? I am a mole and I live in a hole. True. It is true. I am a mole. Uh, I'm a secret spy mole agent for the Russian government. Uh, question number two. Fat Boy Slim, who made the record Rockefeller Skank, is actually a fat boy who has very, very slim thighs. That one's true as well. It's false, I'm afraid. Oh. Sorry, oh. bye-bye. Finding line four. Hello. 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 Oh, sorry. That was yesterday, wasn't it? What was? Right, okay. You couldn't hear me. Oh, uh, right. Oh, it's you from yesterday. We couldn't hear you. So you're back <laughs> oh, on today. Yes, that's me. What's your name? Joe. Calling from? Grantham. How old are you, Joe? 27. You married? No. Nope. Engaged? No. Nope. Partner? Uh, yeah. How long have you been going out with your partner for? Oh, a whole six months. On Ma Sunday it was. Really? Male yeah. or female partner? Oh, he's a male. Mm. Definitely a man. A disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no you just sounded like a lesbian to me. I just thought, you know, for a moment then, you could have been so... No, no, it's not offensive, you know, it's a, it's a compliment. Two words and one of them's off. Some of the, some of the best uh, women in the world are lesbians. <laughs> you know, Zoe Ball, Denise Van Outen, all of them. Hmm. Uh, Dave, myself. That's my whip bread. <laughs> Who would you like your uh, true or false question from, me, Ben or Dave? Well, I'd have to say Jude now, wouldn't I? Well, Jude's not on the show, and she hasn't worked on the show for six months. <laughs> okay, you'll do then. 
What an idiot. True or false? Jude hasn't worked on the show for six months and everybody knows that in the world apart from you. <laughs> false. Oh, well, it's true, obviously, so I'm afraid you haven't won. Sorry about that. Oh, Bye-bye. No. Cock it again. So there you go. That was the excellent True or False, and we'll play again at the same time tomorrow on BBC Radio 1. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so 20 past 6. My girlfriend went to see a TV show being recorded last night and uh, she phoned me and told me all about it when she got in. She said it was the uh, most hilarious experience she's ever had in her life. Reasons why and who was involved have to take that. I guess now it's time. Whatever I'm from, just tell me the song and I'll sing it. You'll be right and understood. One of the best Take That records ever. Isn't it? Yeah. That one's one of the best ones, yeah. Don't you think? You think that's the best? The version Robbie Williams does that when he does uh, Back For Good live in his set is fantastic. Now that's good. And I won't tell you anything about it because you've got to go see Robbie Williams live. He does Back For Good and sings it and it's absolutely superb. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Come on then, tell us you've been teasing us yeah, all morning. What are you going to say? Come on, watch girl- TV. My girlfriend goes to see the TV show last night. TV yeah. show being recorded. It's a brand new show for Sky. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, um, the prize you can win is a car. I believe. Mm-hmm. I said something about it in the papers the other day. And what happens is, uh, you put your car up. And if you lose, your car gets crushed. Oh, that's right. There was a couple that yeah. um, lost their car and they yeah. had to hitchhike back home. Exactly. Something. That's the deal. You put your car in to play and if you lose, your car goes literally under a crusher and gets crushed. That's a good idea. But you can brand, uh, win a brand new car as well, I think is the prize. I yeah. think that's how it works. Hosts are Melinda Messenger and Freddie Starr. Right. Okay. So my girlfriend goes to see it last night. Says it's the worst TV show she's ever seen in entire life. But she said it was hilarious. Freddie Starr was completely off his head. She said it was unbelievable. He couldn't speak. (laughs) But he's always like that. Or, I mean, always gives the impression of being um, slightly off his head. Um, But but she said it was was embarrassing. And uh, making making loads of jokes and nobody was laughing. And and the guy couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. Could hardly stand up, apparently, at one point. You sure it wasn't an act? Which she reckons not. Because she said it wasn't funny. So what's the format? Is it a quiz show? Or yeah, it's a game show. And the game show, uh, you get your contestants and they answer questions and they do all the game showy things and then the, uh, the big thing is the uh, crusher final. Where if you lose, they crush your car. They really do crush your car. I mean, the messenger is, uh, is like one of the, is the girly presenter and uh, Freddie Starr is the uh, supposed comedy host. Oh dear. And apparently not many people were laughing in the audience. Well, I've heard um, people talk about this before. They've... they've uh TV programs have, have flicked when someone's told a joke to a laughing scene and the audience laughing. And people will say, but I wasn't laughing at that joke. That yeah. was the warm-up guy that I was laughing at beforehand. And they've just taken that bit of uh, the clip. So I, they cheat. Yeah, yeah, I went to see the Ben Elton show a couple of weeks ago. You know, and uh, anybody's ever seen it, you'll know there are two Australian guys called Roy and HG. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're the guys who do the Foster's commercials on the telly, or used to anyway. And uh, these two Australian uh, people in Australia. And what they do is uh, Ben Elton's... Uh, doing his routine and then goes into this videotape footage and it's obviously been videoed in Australia and it's already got the laughing on it and when we sat in the studio audience and watched the show not one person in the audience laughed not one I mean really not one so they didn't even bother putting your laughter on no well they didn't need to because there was laughter already on the video so you watch it back as a TV show because mm. you can't tell laughter if, if it, laughter is English or American or Australian yeah and I'm like but nobody was laughing we didn't think it was funny but it's amazing how uh, the microphones pick up like f- four people laughing. It sounds like 50. It's a scandal. It is disgraceful. So um, when's this programme going to be out? When can we see this? I don't know. It's, it's coming on Sky show. soon. Uh, but watch out for it. Freddie Starr. Apparently off his head. I mean, I know Kevin Greening uh, as often does, done the radio and breakfast show like that. 
Because you know Kevin drinks first thing in the morning. Does he? Yeah. What does he drink? It, it, anything. Jack Daniels, vodka, light the fuel. It, you name it. So find out if he's trolled in just a few minutes. Cleopatra on Radio 1 and Life Ain't Easy. Thank you, Ben. Thank you all. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Back tomorrow for our big Thursday show. Live on Radio 1. And next, the Radio on Breakfast show with Kevin Greening and Zoe Ball after a news update with Richard Evans at 6.30. 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1, News Beat. Louise Woodward is preparing to fly home to Britain after an American court decided she was free to go. First of all, before we go any, any, any further, I want to take issue with Chris Moyles because I contend, A, that I don't drink much lighter fuel, not as much lighter fuel as would make a difference to the show before 6.30, and B, I think on a sitcom, you can tell the difference between an American laugh and an Australian laugh and a UK laugh. Really? I believe so, and I think we should put this theory to the test tomorrow. I think okay. a friend... I wonder if Moles is still there. Is it still there? I think you're wrong. <laughs> I contend <laughs> that if I play you a friend's laugh mm. and an only falls and her horse's laugh horses. tomorrow... Horses. Horses. You have been drinking. Okay. <laughs> Why not, <laughs> Barbard? <laughs> Then, um, I've been drinking that blue stuff, actually, that they have on the shelf in barber shops. That's what does it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that stuff? Anyway, I contend that, yeah, I contend that you can tell the difference. All right, then I contend that anyone else will be able to tell the difference. Yeah. Are you going to do a little bet here? I'll do a little taste test yeah, tomorrow. I'll, I'll put my money around where my mouth is. I don't, I don't mind. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I, bet, I bet you dinner. Kevin. Yeah, oh, oh he no. just wants dinner a by day. candlelight. He just wants a day. He just wants to eat. Leave Din- it. <laughs> <laughs> In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime.